Hello, everyone. Hello. Yes. Nice to meet with all of you once again. How are you doing today? Yes. yes. Everyone, do you remember what we have uh, learned last time? Yes. yes. Last time, we spoke about continuing with the five women, right? Yes. How they were the disqualified people. Is that right? Yes. yes. And we also spoke about Joseph. Joseph, he thought he was a just man. I am a good man. I am a gentleman, right? Yes, in that way, he was only doing the work of blocking the will of God, right? Yes. But through the two books, in the book of Isaiah chapter 64, verse 6, right? And also Genesis chapter 6, verse 5. Now, I spoke about how it is very important for us to realize our true image. How we are the disqualified people like these five women, then those uh, people can accurately meet with Jesus. And um, by the works of Jesus, you become qualified to enter into the genealogy of Jesus. Let me speak about a little bit more about Joseph. Let us read the book of Matthew chapter 1, verse 19, we will read. Verse 19, Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man, and not wanting to make her a public example, was minded to put her away secretly. It says, Joseph, her husband, being a just man. He thought he was a just man. He thought he was a good man. While you are thinking that you are just, you are good, you are right, you are only doing the work of blocking the will of God. Let's say that he's so just and he left away from Mary. Then, according to the Bible, can all the will of God and the word of God can be accomplished? No, no right? Yes, uh, being a just man, he wanted to just uh, put Mary secretly away and then he just wanted to go away and disappear. Then the word of God cannot be accomplished as it is. That's why following his uh, just heart, he was only doing the work of blocking the will of God and blocking the word of God. He thinks he's just, but what about in the eyes of God? Let us once again take a look at the book of Isaiah chapter 64, verse 6. Hold on to this. We'll come back. Let us open to the book of Isaiah chapter 64, verse 6. 64, verse 6. Everyone, are we all there? Okay, let me read. But we are all like an unclean thing, and all our righteousnesses are like filthy rags. All our righteousnesses. The Bible doesn't say all of our evil, sinful heart, worldly heart, right? Carnally, carnally mind is a filthy rag. That's not what the Bible says, right? What does the Bible say? We are all like an unclean thing. The Bible doesn't even consider you as a human being, right? The Bible doesn't even say, all are like an unclean people. He can say that, but he doesn't even say that. The Bible say, all are like an unclean thing, and all our, not sin, not evil, not flesh, but all of our righteousnesses. Yes, of course, so those kind of things, evil and dirty things, they're already dirty, right? But even our righteousnesses are all like a filthy rags. What does that mean? Your righteousness is dirty like a filthy rag, right? Your righteousnesses are also evil. Everything that comes from us, they are only evil continually. Why? Not because of anything else. Because all of us, we are born as the descendants of Adam and Eve. Many people are thinking about sin in a wrong way. They think, sin, I am evil, I am dirty, because I did this, I did that. No. You are evil and dirty, not because of anything else, but because you are born as sinner. Not because of your behavioral act, but because you are born as the descendants of Adam and Eve, that's why you are only evil. Where does it describe that? Last time we look, looked it up, right? Psalms chapter 51. Let us open Psalms chapter 51. 
verse 5. He says, Behold, I was a prophet in iniquity, and in sin my mother conceived me. Let us read it all together. I hope, if possible, even our audience, so you can also memorize this verse of verse 5. Ready, go. I was a prophet in iniquity, and in sin my mother conceived me. And in sin my mother conceived me. Since we were conceived, we were conceived as a? Which behavioral act, evil behavioral act have you done that you are conceived as a sinner? Nothing. There was no evil behavior act, right? Even before you do the uh, evil behavior act, you are already a sinner. You understand, right? Actually, now it's been 10 years since uh, I lived in Kenya as a missionary. One time, one time, I went to Gayole. Everyone, do you know a place called Gayole in Nairobi? Yes. yes. I went there and I drove my car and I almost arrived at the venue where we were going to have, you know, women's conference. So I almost arrived, and you know, Gaiola, when you go there, there are so many small kids, right? Yes. As I was driving, you know, they were all running and following my car. And then I stopped my car. And then I got out of the car, and they were all calling me the children, right, in Gaiola. They were telling me, oh, China, China, ching, ching, chong, ching, ching, chong, ching, ching, chong. <laughs> And then one kid, he said, Bruce Lee. <laughs> so I also wanted to play with the kids, right? So when they say, Bruce Lee, Bruce Lee, right? I say, Yo! <laughs> and they're like, ah! And they're running away. Everyone, when I go outside, they don't see me as Korean. Though I'm from South Korea, right? Yes, yes they don't see me as Korean. Does it mean that I am not a Korean? No. Does it mean that I'm Chinese? Does it mean that I'm Japanese? Does it mean that I'm different national? No. I am from South Korea. Why? Because I was conceived and born by Korean mother and father. Everyone, do you understand what I mean? Yes. yes you are all Kenyan. Why are you Kenyan? Because your mother and your father is? Yes. Kenyan. That's why you are Kenyan. No matter what you do, you act like you're Tanzanian. You act like you're Ugandan, right? But still, you are Kenyan. In the same, same way, no matter what we do, you are Kenyan and I am Korean. In the same, same way, no matter what we do, we are only evil continually. Why? Because we were conceived in sin. We were born in sin. Everyone, do you understand? That's why when God, he sees us in the book of Genesis chapter 6, verse 5. Let us look it up again. It says, then the Lord saw. We spoke about this last uh, session, right? Yes. Then the Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every intent of the thought of his heart was only evil. Not just evil. Only evil. Everyone repeat after me. Only evil. Continually. Continually. Look at the Bible. That's what the Bible says. Everyone, is that right? Yes. That's what the Bible says. Everyone, who saw us in this way? When I see myself, I look like a just man, right? But according to the Bible, the Bible says that I am only evil continually. In the beginning of verse 5, it says that then the Lord saw. Who saw us? The Lord saw us. So when the Lord saw us, so we are only evil continually, no matter what you do. Is that right? Yes. yes. The Bible says only means nothing righteous can come out of you. But Joseph, he thinks he's a just man. Mm, I'm a just man. I'm a good man. So I could kill my wife by making her as a public example because there's no way that she can be conceived by the Holy Spirit. Come on, give me a break. How can you be conceived by the Holy Spirit? That is a nonsense. She must have slept with somebody. But at least I am not going to make that woman to be a public example. So I'm a good man, he thought. 
He thought he's so just and good and right, but he's a behavior that comes from trusting and believing in himself, believing that I am just and right. He was only doing the work of blocking the will of God and blocking in the word to be continuously be accomplished. Everyone, is that true? Yes. yes. Everyone, one thing that you have to accurately realize as we read the Bible is that we are only evil continue. We have nothing to trust in ourselves. We are disqualified people who cannot even enter into the genealogy of Jesus. That is the time that you are able to meet with Jesus. That is the time that the works of Jesus comes inside of us as a power to make you now be qualified to enter into the genealogy of Jesus. Everyone say Amen. Amen. Yes. Joseph, he thought he is a just man. I don't know how much he thought he is a just man. However, the thought thinking that I am good, the thought thinking that I am a good Christian, the thought thinking that ah, I serve God well, it is only making you to do the work of blocking the will of God. Let us take a look about Abraham. Abraham, Abraham he thought he's good. He thought he's just also like Joseph. So he began to trust in himself more than the word of the Bible. That's why God was continuously telling Abraham, saying, I will give you a son. I will give you a son. I will give you a son. And he comes up to Genesis chapter 17, right? Yes. He came all the way to Genesis chapter 17. That time he was 99 years old. Let us open to Genesis chapter 17 and take a look. Verse 15. The Bible says, Then God said to Abraham, As for Sarah your wife, for you shall not call her name Sarai, but Sarah shall be her name. And I will bless her and also give you a son by her. Then I will bless her and she shall be a mother of nations. Kings of peoples shall be from her. However, we can say that God is continuously blessing Abraham, right? continuously speaking to Sarah and Abraham saying that I will give you a son I will bless you right yes. now in verse 17 15 and 16 and God has spoken to Abraham saying I will help you I will help you I will bless you right yes. now just the 17 right after verse 16 as soon as God finished speaking verse 17 Abraham he says then Abraham fell on his face and left and said in his heart, Shall a child be born unto a man who is 100 years old? And shall Sarah, who is 90 years old, bear a child? And Abraham said to God, Oh, that Ishmael might live before you. Everyone, 15, 16, God is saying, I will bless her, I will bless her, I will bless her, I will give her a son. But then 17, Abraham is speaking his own thought right away. Why? Because he thinks he's just. Like Joseph, he thinks he is right. He thinks he is more right than the word of God. Everyone, who is right? Everyone, but look at it outwardly, right? Abraham is 100 years old. Can you have a child? Can you have a son? Imagine yourself, you are 100 years old. And imagine having a son. Is it possible or impossible? impossible. So Abraham did what? He left. <laughs> hey, that is impossible. God, come on, give me a break. I'm a hundred year old grandfather. My back is bent. Look at my teeth, it's almost all falling apart. Look at my hair, it all turned gray. Everyone, is that so right or not? Can he really have a son? No, right? You can you cannot even think I think you can't even dream. You understand, right? Even dr to dream to have a son is impossible, right? Yes. yes. But right now God is saying, I'll give you a son. Does that make sense? Aaron, humanistically. Humanistically, when you think about it, it is so right for Abraham to left. <laughs> right? God, does that make sense? Oh my God, that is a nonsense. <laughs> You understand, right? Yes. yes. Everyone, when you look at Abraham, how Abraham is behaving before the word of God is so true. 
so right, so justifiable, at the same time, so wrong. Everyone, is that right? Yes, he's a right heart. He's a justifiable heart. He's a correct thoughts. He's, he's common sense as a human being. Many times before the word of God, there are many times that you speak about a common sense, right? Yes, that is a common sense at the level of human being. It's because you don't believe in the word of God. You understand, right? Yes, right now he's talking about the common sense of a human being because he doesn't believe in the word of God. Why does he not believe in the word of God? Because he thinks I am right. I am just like Joseph, right? I am just, I am right, I am correct, I am good, right? While he is trusting in himself, he cannot receive the word of God the way it is. And instead, also look at Joseph, he was blocking the will of God through his just a heart, right? Also Abraham, through his just a heart, through his justifiable heart, through his right heart, through his good heart, what is he doing? He is making so that the word of God cannot be accomplished. Is that right? He's pushing away the word of God. Hey, I will give you a son. No, 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 no. Don't give me a son. Don't give me a son. I'm 100 years old. It's impossible. What is pushing away the word of God right now? His justifiable thought. His good thought. His common sense is making him to push away the word of God. You understand what I mean? Yes. Here, that's why he says, Oh, that Ishmael might live before you. God, I hope that Ishmael, I hope that Ishmael can live before you. And then verse 19, he says, Then God said, No! God said what? No. Not like that. I don't know. You know, the Bible never puts like one's emotion and feeling there, right? Yes. So I don't know how God might have said during this situation, whether he said, no, Abraham. Or maybe God, he might have said, no. You understand, right? I don't know how he might have said this. But just my imaginary, in this situation, I think God might have said, no, that is your thought. That is not the word of God. If you follow that thought, you are only doing the work of blocking my will. My plans, the word of God. I will give you a son. Everyone, is that right or not? God is telling us today also, no, no to what? No to your just heart. No to your right heart. Your right heart, your just heart, is only doing the work of blocking the will of God to be accomplished in your life. Everyone, no matter how just your thoughts it seems like, no matter how right you think your thought seems like, you got to throw that away. That is only making the will of God to be blocked. Everyone, I mean, even if it's not Abraham, for sure the will of God is going to be accomplished, right? Yes. Also, for sure the will of God will be accomplished through Abraham by breaking his heart. You understand, right? By telling him, no, that is your thought. If you follow that thought, you are going to be miserable. Is that right? Yes. Today, God is also speaking the same way. No to your thought. No to your just thought. No to your right heart. Because your right heart is like a filthy rag. One thing that you have to act really realize is that everything that comes from me is the only evil continually. Then, purely, only the word of God can be established in our heart. Everyone, let us once again look at another story. In the book of Matthew chapter 9, next time, as we talk about Matthew chapter 9, we are going to talk about it in more details. But let's take a glimpse at it because it's going on the same context. Chapter 9, Matthew chapter 9. Starting from verse 18. Right now, it is uh, talking about a ruler who came to Jesus 
saying, my daughter is dead, but please come, then my daughter shall leave, right? And now on the way, Jesus, he meets uh, with the woman who had the issues of blood for 12 years, right? Verse 20, right? And suddenly, a woman who had a flow of blood for 12 years came from behind and touched the hem of his garment. And then now, Jesus turned around and searched who touched my garment, right? And then the time delayed. And now, continues, uh, continuously moved on. Okay, let us take a look at verse 23. It says, When Jesus came into the ruler's house and saw the flute players, and the noise of crowd wailing. Right now, they're wailing because of what? Because the girl is dead. dead. Everyone, is she really dead? Is she breathing? Is she blinking? Is her heart beating? She's dead, right? That's why people are wailing, people are playing flute, and people are mourning, right? Yes. And verse 24, it says, He said to them, Make room, um, for the girl is not dead, but sleeping. And they ridiculed him. Everyone, what does it mean by ridiculed him? They laughed at him, right? Yes. Like Abraham, right? <laughs> right now, Jesus, he's out of his mind. Jesus, he didn't even see that girl. And right now, Jesus is saying, a girl is not dead, but sleeping. This is a nonsense. She's dead. We saw her. We put our finger in front of her nose. She's not breathing. We checked her pulse. She's not, there's no pulse, right? Everyone, she's dead. So to them, they're so just and right to say that she is. She's dead. Because she know, they know accurately that she is dead. When the word of Jesus came, they laughed at him. They laughed at the word of Jesus. They could not receive the word of Jesus like Abraham, right? Yes, they could, Abraham could not receive the word of God. Now they could not receive the word of Jesus. Why? Because they think that they are more just like Joseph. They think they are more right. They think they are correct. They think they are all right. Better than the word of Jesus. They have put their common sense on top of the word of Jesus. They did not set the word of Jesus. They did not set the word of God on top of the common sense. They put common sense on top of the word of Jesus. They put the act of checking the pulse of a girl on top of the word of Jesus. You understand? These people are not the people who are believing in the word of Jesus. They don't believe in Jesus. And they believe in what? They believe in their just heart. While they are believing in their just heart, while they are believing in their experience, their eyes, and what they think they are right, they cannot receive the word of Jesus. In other words, they are only doing the work of blocking the word of Jesus. However, what happened? Now, they ridiculed him. Is that right? Yes. But now, what happened? Did he leave or did she leave or did she die? Did she leave or did she die? Okay, let us take a look. Verse 24, he said to them, Make room, for the girl is not dead, but sleeping. And they ridiculed him. But when the crowd was put outside, he went in and took her by the hand, and the girl arose. Everyone, is she dead or was she sleeping? Who was correct? Or the crowd? Crowd was correct? Their just the thought was correct? Their right heart was correct? No. Every one thing that you have to accurately realize that all of your thoughts are wrong. No matter how justifiable your thoughts you think it may be, before the word of Jesus, before the word of God, they are all wrong. What is right? What is correct? Your justifiable heart, your just heart, your righteous heart, your good heart. No, they're all wrong before Jesus. And only the word of Jesus is correct. But many times, with our just heart, with our good heart, with our right heart, what do we do? 
we are making the word of God and the will of God so that it cannot be accomplished. Right now, in the book of Matthew, chapter 1, verse 19. Then Joseph, her husband, and being a just man, and not wanting to make her a public example, was minded to put her away secretly. Outwardly, it seems like Joseph is a very nice guy. He's a gentleman, just a man. However, before the word of Jesus, before the word of God, Joseph is wrong. Is that right? Yes. Joseph, he thinks he's a just man. But in the eyes of God, Joseph is wrong. Everyone, when you accurately realize that, according to Genesis chapter 6, verse 5, that I am only evil continually. According to the book of Isaiah chapter 64, verse 6, all of my righteousnesses are like a filthy rag. When you accurately realize that, then the word of Jesus will come inside of you automatically. And Jesus will do the work to give you the qualification to belong to the genealogy of Jesus, where there is life, where there is only beget, beget, beget. I hope through the session of the book of Matthew, I hope all of you can accurately realize your true image according to the Bible so that the works of Jesus can come inside of you, giving you the qualification. Thank you so much, and I hope to see you next time. Thank you. Mm -hmm.